Now, now let's try to print this in a format like I want to print the output as the addition of 4 and 7 is 11. Right? This is the output I want here. So what we can do is we can simply say uh, the addition of 4 and 7 is now this person D will be replaced by this num1 plus num2. Simple, right? Now before that, what we can do, we can take one more variable where you can store your, uh, I think we should remove this line now. Let me just remove, yeah. Now, so what we can do, we can create one more variable and we'll name this variable as result. And this, instead of doing this operation here, num1 plus num2, we can achieve the same operation here. So we can say result equal to num1 plus num2, okay? And we can replace this num1 plus num2 here and we can say this as result, okay? So now this person D will be replaced by this result, simple. And now if I try to run this code, the output is the addition of 4 and 7 is 11. But hold on, do you think every time we'll be given the same input? There might be chances that my input is 5 and 8. Now in this scenario, the output should be the addition of 5 and 8 is 13. Let's run this. And obviously, it will be getting output as the addition of 4 and 7 is 13, which is wrong. Right? It's because we are doing some hard coding here, which means I'm mentioning it 7 and 4 and 7. The thing I should mention here is 5 and 8. But do you think every time we have to come here and change the numbers? So what we can do is we'll ask our Turbo C++ interpreter that when you run this file, fetch the value which will come here from num1, fetch the value which will come here from num2. That means I have to say a person D here and a person D here. Now this person D is num1, this person D is num2 and this person D is result. So what we can do, we can simply say it is num1, comma num2, comma result. That means this person D will be replaced by num1, this person D will be replaced by num2, and this person D will be replaced by result. Simple. Let's run this file and yeah, the addition of 5 and 8 is 13. Simple. You can print any format. Right? Now, uh, what we'll do is, Let's check for subtraction. So how to check for subtraction? It's very simple. We can simply remove this plus and say minus. So instead of writing addition, we'll say it is subtra subtraction. Okay. And if I run this, subtraction of this from this is this. Let's output. It's, yeah, it's minus three, right? So that's right. How to achieve multiplication? So we can simply say it is a multiply sign and we can remove this subtraction and we'll say multiplication of this and this is this run and 5 into 8 is 40. That means we can achieve all the operations. But question arises when you have to divide something. Now we don't have a symbol for directly divide right or like we have dot line dot. So we have to use something called a slash. So slash means num divided by num2 or num1 divided by num2. Okay. And for, for demonstration, let me change this number to 15 and 5. So divide division of 15 by 5, you should get is 3 and the answer is 3. Simple. So this is how you have to uh, do my, my arithmetic operations. And we'll see the remaining part in the next tutorial.